Of course, the minute I sit down to film a video, it starts to thunderstorm. But I have makeup on, so we're gonna do this. Hey loves, it's Ro, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. 99.9% .9 of the time, I am extremely positive. That's what my videos are about. But today we're gonna do something a little different because I'm feeling feisty. So I'm gonna respond to some of the hate messages I've gotten. Putting yourself out there online opens the door for some of the most cruel, ugliest, awful intentioned, meanest people to come crawling out of the woodwork and pick you apart. And some of the things that they say, I'm like, you would never say that to my face. Sit down, you keyboard warrior with your behind the screen courage. I got nothing to say to you. Usually I just leave them there. If they're really bad, I delete them. If they're really bad, I will block them. But today we're just gonna have a little fun. I saw another YouTuber do this. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I've been saving some of my comments and my responses for a while. And today was the day until the thunderstorm rolled through. Today was gonna be the day, so bear with me. Hopefully we won't have too much background noise and we won't lose power, cause that would really suck. Maybe that would be somebody telling me to keep it positive, but for now, we're gonna go with this. So if you're interested in hearing some of my comebacks to some of the hate that I've received in the comments section below some of my videos, then please keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I am the founder of an organization called Strong Prison Wives and Families, the author of a book called The Comeback Code. We do not glorify or glamorize prison or prison wife life here, but I will teach you how to make the best out of this really painful and hopefully one shot deal. So let's just dive right into some of the hate comments. And let me say this first, my channel is around a controversial topic. Most people don't understand prison wife life. Most people think that we're crazy, that we're stupid, that we're desperate, we can't get a date, you name it, I've heard it because there's a stigma that exists against people who support a loved one who's incarcerated. And I understand that. I've received hate since the day I hit publish on my channel. It hurt in the beginning to read it. Sometimes it still hurts now, but you grow a thick skin as you do this. But why not have a little fun on a day where I feel feisty and respond to a few of them? So you could see my perspective. I can get a little sarcastic, guys, in case you didn't know. The first comment that I hear all the time and most prison YouTubers hear all the time is, do the crime, do the time. We hear that ad nauseum so much. It's so old at this point. And usually that's said by people who have their nose in the air. And it's really easy to throw that out there because most of them don't understand and they don't care that sentencing laws are dated, sentencing laws are unfair, the crime and the time don't fit. So yeah, Adam did a crime and he should have done time, but don't tell me that he deserves 213 years for robberies where nobody hurt where rapists and murderers get out in a couple. No, 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 no. He did a crime. He's done more than enough time. So take your, do your crime, do your time someplace else. I didn't save this comment. It's from many years ago, but I was told that I deserve to die. He deserves to die in prison and I deserve to die because I support a man in prison. Goodbye. I have nothing else to say about that. Another comment I got was white girls are obsessed with bad boys. At least I'm staying in my lane. Okay, hate speech. Not even gonna acknowledge that one any further. This comment was left by a woman and she said, leave him, date me. As much as I think that women are among the most beautiful creatures on the planet, I'm sorry, sweetie, I am strictly Maybe in another life. My favorite pickup line on one of my videos, because I get those all the time, which is, it's flattering, I'm not gonna lie, was somebody who told me to leave Adam and he would pay all of my bills for me. So I did what any respectable woman would do and gave him the address to my PO box so he could send the checks. This lady commented and she said that she would love for me to hook her up with someone. The worse of a criminal they are, the better. <laughs> I've heard it all. And if you can genuinely make me laugh with your attempt at a sarcastic insult, I'm gonna give you props and an air high five because we're socially distancing. Keep your high five back here. Unfortunately, Susan, you're as basic as Instagram brunch photos of avocado toast and pumpkin spice latte. Maybe next time, instead of an air high five, we can cheers rosé glasses. Then there was the guy that told me that he would find me a date. You're so sweet. I don't want to put my exes on blast and put their pictures up here, but let me run down a list of their celebrity doppelgangers. We have Ben Affleck, Mark Consuelos, 
Matthew McConaughey and a telenovela actor that I can't remember his name, but I'll put his picture up there too. So I'm not hurting in the find a guy department. Thank you, but I'm good. I also recently had somebody tell me that I sounded like a fat racist. I'd like to know what fat sounds like. And the racist comment was on a video where I was sharing a video that was made by a black man inside of prison who was trying to get his story out there because COVID was running rampant in his facility and I did everything that I possibly could to help that man. So I don't know what fat sounds like and I don't know how that's racist, but you're disgusting. Somebody else told me that I need to make a sex tape for them. Um, my five foot nothing old school Italian mother would have had a fit if I had ever made one. And let me tell you something about old school Italian mothers. They don't just beat you with the spoon that has been in their hand since 2 a.m. to start the sauce for 2 p.m. dinner. They beat you with the wooden spoon, with the cutting board, even if it's a marble cutting board, the broom, their shoe, whatever is closest to them, the mop, the vacuum cleaner, I'm telling you, you're going to take a beating. You don't want to mess with an old school Italian mother, especially one that's passed because she'd strike me down with lightning knowing that beautiful woman. Uh, supposed life or wife commented that my channel was bogus and that you should never trust somebody trying to make money off of the prison wife struggle. She also mentioned the very last thing you should do is search YouTube for prison wife advice. Um, exactly how did she find me? I 35% jokingly and 65% nicely telling her to go f herself told her the only people financially benefiting from my husband's life sentence are the feds. It's certainly not me. Then I told her to take her negativity elsewhere and I ended it with a big bad girl bye. She continued to watch about five more of my videos after leaving that one comment and left subsequent comments that ranged from me being an idiot to how she felt disgraced that I was representing prison wives to being appalled at my advice and did not want me representing her. At least we totally saw eye to eye and agreed on one thing. I have zero desire to represent a crazy stigma monster. Zero, nada, zilch, none, uh-uh, bye. When I first read that, I was in the middle of whipping up a really seriously snarky reply. And then I took a deep breath and I invited her to my exclusive block party. VIP only, no RSVP or invitation necessary. On a serious note, I realize that I might not be everybody's cup of tea. I do not have it all figured out and I'll never claim to. All I'm trying to do is use my experience and pass it along to you, whoever can help to avoid the pain and the struggles that I've been through. I'm not saying I got it all right. Believe me, believe me, I don't have it all right. I don't always have the right advice. I don't always respond to every situation in the right way. And to be honest with you, I don't want to be the best prison wife. I want this to be over. I don't need an exclusive VIP card to the best life or wife club. I don't want it. You can have it, lady. There's no prison wife handbook. There were no classes that I could take to teach me how to teach you. What I do have are life experiences. I've had tons of falls on my face and had to figure out how to get back up. Life experience teaches you volumes more than encyclopedias can offer. I've been cheated on. I've been lied to. I've been there. I wasn't born like this. I've worked hard at my relationship with Adam. We didn't just start out this way. We didn't start out communicating deeply. We didn't start out a power couple. But he's the most supportive person in my life and that I've ever known. We worked on it. We figured it out. And that's why I'm able to share this with you. Not because I wanna brag or boast, not because I need you to feed my ego, because you deserve to be treated like that too. And if you don't jive with my personality, no harm no foul. If you just move on or nicely offer feedback, even constructive criticism, no hard feelings at all. Some people just don't vibe and that's cool. And if you think I'm weird for using the phrase, that's cool in 2020, you probably want to switch to a cup of decaf chamomile. I'm more of an overly caffeinated matcha latte type of girl. I'm just not your cup of tea. So let's wrap this whole video up and end on a positive note. What the haters say about you has 
absolutely nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. The video that made that lady who told me that she doesn't want me representing prison wives, the video that made her rant and rave the most was the one where I was explaining that prison wives and women in general should be confident and command respect in a relationship. That she should stand up for herself and settle for nothing less than to be treated exactly how she deserves. So that troll's comments told me that my words hit her in a tender spot. They hurt, just like when you press on a bruise. My lesson was threatening her inner narrative. The story that she tells herself to justify staying in a controlling negative relationship. She wasn't angry at me at all. She was angry at her inner voice. The voice that was screaming at her, begging to be heard. She got mad at me in an effort to silence her nagging intuition. Do you boo. Nothing I can do about it. Obviously this woman has a lot of anger and resentment build up because of her experience as a prison wife. Nothing to do with me. But what I can do is figure out where the lesson is inside of a hater's comment that I need to learn. You'll grow so much if you can step out of your ego, put it aside for a minute, and keep it there long enough that you don't just turn around, lash out at the tongue, say something back in anger, and actually dissect what's behind their words. It's never easy, but it's always rewarding. Kind of like a grueling session on the treadmill. I am not and never will change myself for anyone, but I'm always tweaking my approach to figure out what works best for me and you, my crew. And we have a block full of trolls to thank for this beautiful evolution. Because like a quote Adam loves to tell me, like a tree, if you're not growing, you're dead. We can support one another because we are all one day closer to our goals. In the meantime, we can let the haters guide us and then block the shit out of them. Bye, bitch. If you'd like to see other videos with me, click one of the videos on the screen. If you're not already subscribed, come on, you made it this far. Obviously, you're not a hater. I would have invited you to the block party. So click that little circle right there, or you could always do it by clicking the red box below. I love you. You're amazing. And I will see you in the next one.